welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 22, verse 20. And let's look at this uh, statement here as we're going through line by line the entire book of Exodus. And now what we find in verse 20 is this command, He who sacrifices to any god other than the Lord alone shall be utterly destroyed. Now remember that these laws we're looking at now are basically expansions or applications really of the Ten Commandments we already saw a couple chapters ago in Exodus chapter 20. And the first of the Ten Commandments we saw there, what's, which one is this an application of? Well, we could say it's an application, I believe, of the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. So that forbade the worship of any other god, and this is saying the same thing. Now we know, of course, there are no other actual gods. There's just the one. But all these other ones are fakes. They're lying representations. Demons would speak through them and supposedly be deities. Um, and so God is trying to keep his people from, you know, getting bad information and acting on bad ethics. So here's a command. Don't do that. And as we said the other morning, remember that Israel was a nation of people coming out. They're coming out of Egyptian pantheism, polytheism, the worship of many gods or the worship of the creation itself as God. The Nile River was thought to be a god, and you heard about all the other gods we've already talked about. So God is trying to help his people not be caught up in that nonsense. He's trying to educate them. He's, he's bringing them up higher. You know, if you're brought up from, from the idea that, you know, if mathematically you thought that 2 plus 2 equaled 3 and somebody educates you and shows you that 2 plus 2 actually equals 4, you've made a, a pretty important advance. It might keep you from getting ripped off next time you buy apples or you buy an automobile, right? So God is trying to give his people solid, a solid source of information, not all these fake gods which are out for their destruction, Satan working through them out to destroy. Also remember that God's people are uncompromisingly monotheistic. We worship one God, not two, not three, not 18, not 106. We are monotheists. We believe there is one God and we worship him. So really no surprise at this verse 20. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning and come back and see us again. And we'll go up to verse 21.